Disclaimer, this series involves criticizing things and the fact that I'm doing that doesn't necessarily mean I dislike the thing. Thank you, click below to watch the original Sins video or to buy Infinity War, even though none of you guys would do that. You have seen the film, otherwise you wouldn't be watching the original Sins video or to extent this video either. Also, another disclaimer, I am poking fun at Sin Sins and the Birdman who sins sins videos. Their links to their channel would be in the description below. Thirty-five seconds of logos. I know it's not fifty seconds of logos, but a movie telling you who it's made by is a sin. Because... Boy, I hate the fact that Birdman is sinning on how long the intro is! For even in death, you have become children of Thanos. Do we really need this explanation for who Thanos is? I mean, we've seen him in other movies, and he was expanded upon in Guardians of the Galaxy, so what's the point? It's supposed to indicate that this film is when Thanos becomes a big deal. So someone to explain who Thanos is would be useful to fully introduce him to this film. Wait, who is this guy? What happened here? Movie doesn't explain anything. You should know who this guy is. Even Jeremy would know who Thanos is. Yet to fail. Agent K tells audience what it's like to criticize CinemaSins. Okay, I just want to bring up that the Birdman is going to misuse names of characters that doesn't make any freaking sense. So because of this, I'll add five sins for the 20 something times he does this. Now it's here. Or should I say, I am. Yeah, but who are you, and what is that purple thing? Movie expects me to keep up with all these artifacts, scepters, gems, minerals, and inventions, and I'm just going to say f*** this movie right in the ear. Well, movie expects you to watch the previous films, not everything else, so it's kind of your fault for not knowing everything. Kill away. That should be the end of this movie right there. If Loki doesn't give Thanos Mystique's vagina, he doesn't get all the gems, and everyone's happy. But this movie is the wacky euphemism I use for the Tesseract. A pussy. Ew? Our fathers had the dark magic for them one last time. That's racist. How is any of that racist? You're going to die for that. Fifty Shades of Ebony. Birdman makes a pop cultural. Hey, you just broke that. The thing in your hand. You crushed it. Thanks for pointing that out. But it's not a sin, you're just pointing shit out. Just how a certain TV sinner sins his videos. Thor survives this. Yeah, because a powerful thunder god like Thor would never survive this. It's not like we haven't seen him handle worse situations than this. Bruce plays the proper noun game so that Doctor Strange would have to ask who the hell Thanos is. Okay, breaking character here. Birdman doesn't know how the pronoun games work. Jeremy wouldn't do proper noun games. If he would have seen this moment, he would have made a pop cultural reference using Game of Thrones Winter is Coming phrase. We had a kid. We named him after your eccentric uncle. Uh, what was his name? Right. Morgan. Morgan Freeman? Birdman makes a pop That thing on his chest is the reason he saved the world multiple times, you dick. Birdman hates Pepper as much as Jeremy hates Fuel, as much as Jay hates questioning jokes, as much as Jay hates Teen Titans. I'm Dr. Stephen Strange. Dr. Stephen Strange. Dr. Strange said his name. Sin it! I need you to come with me. You need to come take a look at this cliche. I wouldn't mind if you sin, you better take a look at this cliche, but... This is not a cliché. Doctor Strange is just asking Tony that he needs his help. Not looking at something. Are you even listening? Also, didn't we get this explanation in Guardians? This movie wants to be Guardians so bad. Yeah, because Wong is explaining Tony and Bruce about the Infinity Stones. This movie is ripping off Guardians for sure. Movie turns into War of the Worlds for some reason. This movie had some people running. That movie had some people running. And that's a sin. Remember to put that time stone in that pocket, Doc. You might want to use it. He says this, but never uses it. I mean, not once. 
doesn't even attempt to use it. Except later on, he uses it to see the possible outcomes. What does this scene even mean? Penis Parker now has the ability to know what's going on miles away? Okay, breaking character again. It's supposed to indicate that Spider-Man has Spider-Sense. I mean, how didn't you know about that? I never read a comic in my life, and I know that Spider-Man has Spider-Senses. Because I watch Spider-Man movies and other resources that isn't comics. Hence why the books doesn't matter. Also, Penis Parker. We're all gonna die! <laughs> Fucking nerd, man. Let's talk about Bird's Man laugh. I get that he's mocking Jeremy's laugh, but if you want to mock a laugh, do it like this. <laughs> what you did is like a dolphin if he was shivering from icy water. Okay, I've been breaking character long enough. Time to get back to Baraka and other J. <laughs> <laughs> Birdman doesn't know how to laugh. Holy hell, that was awesome as f. Sure, it's awesome as fuck. Wait, why did you send this? Tony, you okay? Wait, how the hell did Bruce catch up with Tony here? He got blasted through two buildings, but Bruce is just all of a sudden here now? Is super speed a thing in these movies? Birdman manipulated a scene to add his sin count because it shows Wong getting Bruce away from the fight since Bruce can't turn into the Hulk, making him a harmless civilian. And Wong sent him to what seems to be a park. Also, I like to point out that super speed is indeed a thing in the MCU because Quicksilver. Bruce survives this. Yeah, because Bruce would definitely die from that tree. There's no chance in hell that he would survive that tree impact. He came here to steal a necklace from a wizard. How are they communicating, by the way? I know Tony made this suit for him, and it probably has some sort of communication device built in, but how are they communicating right now? Wh what? Did you even hear yourself? You just told us how Peter and Tony are communicating. How the hell is this dude still alive? He is not a dude. You're a dude. Drax's boner for Thor inspires hit 1990s Nickelodeon song. Birdman says boner. I'm gonna get a Bowflex. I'm gonna commit. How the hell does Peter know what a Bowflex is? Wasn't he abducted in the 80s? Yeah, and a Blowflex was invented in 1986. Peter was abducted in 1988. So it's safe to say that Peter would know what a Blowflex is. Time and Mind Stones are safe on Earth with the Avengers. The Avengers? The Earth's mightiest heroes. Like Kevin Bacon? Funny joke, but how does Mantis know who Kevin Bacon is? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the 80s referencing Peter Quill might have anything to do with it? I mean, this is a complete mystery. I don't know what's going on. Ah! Hot Ryu Ex Machina. That is not how Ex Machias work. Dude, how long have you been standing there? An hour. <laughs> okay, these laughs are no longer funny. You're just using the same laugh over and over. It's no longer funny. You're just overusing a joke. And soon enough, your boner jokes wouldn't even be funny anymore. How the heck does this projection work? The movie is just not interested in explaining literally anything. And holograms. Birdman hates his holograms. Pretend you thought this through. No, I, I know you did. You I did could think this not through. possibly thought this You can't through. be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man if there's no neighborhood. Hold on a minute. Why did Birdman take a sin away? If it's to mock Jeremy, you're doing it wrong. Because he would never take sins off for no reason. And when he takes sins off, he thinks that the movie does something right. Little one, it's a simple calculus. This universe is finite, its resources finite. If life is left unchecked, life will cease to exist. Let's talk about Thanos' plan. He believes that the resources of the universe are finite, and his solution is to gather the Infinity Stones and wipe out half of all life, instead of just making infinite resources. 
Have I got that right? Well, you're wrong because Thanos isn't wiping half of the universe because he believes that he can solve overpopulations by wiping half of it. Never mind that it's his beliefs and he's not wrong or right or anything like that. He's doing this so he can have sex with Death herself. Because that is what happens in the comics. And I know because I read the comics and books does matter. They don't. Movies can identify itself with originality while using sources from books. Oh, I would have watched that. The only way I could sneak it off contracts was up my ass eyeball notwithstanding, how is that obviously androidian eyeball going to work for a Norse god? What's this? A robotic eyeball that is the size of a humanoid eyeball? That can't possibly fit into Thor's eyeball socket. He should have gotten himself a Norse eye in there instead. So no one else is going to say it? All right, I will. Peter is choking his Peter. What the hell, Birdman? Meant to be the greatest in Asgard. It have a name. Stormbreaker. Movie's just making shit up now. Stormbreaker? Give me a break. Breaking character so many times, I know, I'm sorry. If Jeremy would send this, he would have said that Stormbreaker is a ridiculous name. Even I agree. But also, that's how names work. You just make shit up. Birdman takes a sin off because Tony's face. They too sought the stones. Stone. You two sought a stone. I'm pretty sure you didn't even know the Tesseract was an Infinity Stone. Hell, I'm sure Marvel didn't know the Tesseract was an Infinity Stone. Yes, that's really the point. To create a universe where Tesseract is a Infinity Stone. You do realize they have planned this for years. And so they decided to make a Tesseract a Infinity Stone. But I am going to send this for the fact that they did this because the books doesn't have this. And books does matter. They don't. Oh my life. Skip. I said skip, damn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You do realize that this is the most emotional scene in the entire film. I mean, you do realize what Thanos had to do. He... So I think this scene is good. And you skipping all of that? It makes it a scene just... Bad. Why didn't you just reprogram the synapses to work collectively? Because we didn't think of it? Yeah, that's cool and all, but this scene does not contain a lap dance. Uh, Birdman? Jeremy don't sin lap dance sins anymore. How is Thor able to stick to these rings? There is no gravity in space. Oh, come on. Even Jeremy admits that he screwed up that sin. This just shows that you are dumber than Jeremy. You are in Wakanda now. Thanos will have nothing but dust and blood. Chadwick Boseman is an amazing actor, but this line delivery is just... <laughs> Mocking a Wakanda accent. I know, this Hammer X hasn't been blessed by Odin, but how can Puberty Groot pick it up? Because Stormbreaker isn't Mew Mew. By the way, what happened to this planet? We see that it's decimated, but the movie never tells us what happens here. All the questions that you ask are answered in the next scene. Yet you never once used your greatest weapon. Thanos would be excellent at cinema sins. Did you just say that Strange doesn't use the Time Stone just to sin this moment? Because, no? Spare his life, and I will give you the stone. Yeah, but didn't you say, I will not hesitate to let either of you die. Why don't you just use the goddamn Time Stone? He is dumbass. He is giving it to Thanos so he can save Tony Stark. I get your point that he can use the Time Stone to kill Thanos earlier, but remember, time has paradoxes and can deal more damage than what Thanos does in a few seconds. All these characters have more spider sense than Peter Parker. Well, yeah, because they are, um, looking up emotions powers things swear this is basically the last time i'm breaking character i get you want to mock jeremy for sinning these things but if you want to do it do it right because you're just saying the same shit that jeremy said once or twice in his video and that just makes you more careless than jeremy about what you're sinning this is exactly my point 
If Thor can do this to the O.J. Simpson glove with Mjolnir 2, he could have easily beaten him if he'd gone to Titan. Damn it, this movie is frustrating as hell. Except that this doesn't work and Thanos lived. <laughs> And just like that, Thanos made every fanboy cry like a little bitch. And who wouldn't? No one see this coming. Even I cried when I saw that. And I had to think a lot just to get this over with. Also, um, side note, I am not mocking Sin Sin's J here. I don't know if he cried at the end of Infinity War, but I, Siri Sin's J, was the one who, you know cried at the end of Infinity War. At least I can able to admit it. So the sin total is that number, and the punishment would be me doing a incredibly terrible Sin Sin J impression, because I really am that terrible at making that impression. So I'm incredibly sorry, Jay, if you're watching this. And hey, maybe you could possibly make a impersonation voice of me. I really wouldn't mind that. All you have to do is just high up the pitch or properly make a squeaky voice, and it will be completely accurate to me. Who knows? Da -da! Bum, 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 bum. So I want to explain one thing that I want to talk to Birdman about, the thing that he always misuses, the fact that books doesn't matter, and he thinks that they do. I get that Birdman is trying to say in his videos, books has stuff that can be answered, but that is not the case that I'm seeing. What I see is Birdman thinks that Jeremy is saying that books should be ignored and pretend that they didn't existed. And that's a bit of a problem. Birdman, if you're watching this, I want to tell you this. When Jeremy says the books doesn't fucking matter, he doesn't mean ignore the books. He means that he's judging the film based on what he sees in the film itself. If he questions something or not understands something, then it would mean the movie is either not good to explain it very well, or shows that something that can be explained in the books. But it doesn't matter in the film. Because there is a difference between movies and books. They're not exactly the same. So its logic doesn't have to be the same either. Movies can have something original that isn't bought in books, that can make more sense or a different idea for what would happen. For example, Thanos' motive in the comics is so Death can give attention to him and date him. Thanos' motive in the movies, however, is to control population so the universe wouldn't suffer his homeworld's fate. Which one would you prefer? Most of you would most likely say movies, so, would the comic books matter in this case? No, because it has nothing to do with the movie Thanos and it shows a different view of Thanos that makes him more interesting and I can actually see him as a very interesting villain. So in conclusion, when Jeremy says the books doesn't matter, he means the books shouldn't matter. Books does matter, I kind of agree. If you're trying to make the same story, trying to make an adaptation, but if you're trying to make something that is a bit different for a good reason, and trying to create originality of a different viewpoint, then you don't need to follow all parts of the books. You can able to like put it in your own film. That's basically how most directors do. They basically like put new ideas to original concept. It can succeed, it cannot succeed, but at least they have done something original and not just a copy and paste. Which is kind of what makes the whole concept a bit interesting. I hope you understand my point here, Birdman. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and special thanks to Sin Sins and The Birdman. They make really good videos of everything wrong with everything wrong with videos. And I would recommend watching their YouTube channels. It's really interesting and it kind of gives really good points. Especially my videos because I have to admit some of my videos really sucked. I would recommend subscribing to their channel. The links will be below and thank you and bye bye